Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my channel. Today I have a behind the scene of Plant vs. Zombie. So you will be watching me make the game. So if you have any uh, issues with your game, uh, you can always watch this video to uh, see how you can fix the issues. So I'm just taking a look at uh, uh, the, the menu screen here and the question screen and I'm just linking them to the next slide. And also thank you for uh, you guys who are subscribed to this channel. It really means a lot to me. And thank you for all your kind comments. It's definitely helpful for me to uh, help make a better, uh, better material, better games for you guys as well. So I'm just trying to uh, link this to uh, slide 36, which is the select screen. And I believe I've got everything here. So go down to action setting, slide hyperlink to slide 36. And this is the most tedious part of uh, this uh, when making a PowerPoint game, is making sure that everything is um, linked properly or uh, your game just will not function correctly. So here we have, we need to link this to slide 36. And this is, like I said, the most tedious part, um, really, is linking everything. And, If you guys know a better way to do this, uh, please let me know in the comment section below so that I can <laughs> save some time in uh, making these games. Uh, I'm doing this between uh, when, whenever I have time, actually. Um, I'm usually very busy with other things, but I really want to um, make a fantastic game for you guys to use. Um, I have a simple version of this game. Um, which I use with my student and they actually really love it so I made a more um, advanced version with more graphics and sound effects and animation and they really enjoy it and they really appreciate it. Hmm. We'll link that there. We'll work a little faster here. It really helps me a lot when I read your comments. Um, there's a lot of suggestions I've, I've noticed and I've, I've come across a few uh, issues, um, particularly with uh, sound, not being able to uh, hear or play it from my uh, PowerPoint games. Um, it could be a few, num a number of few reasons. Um, I'm using a MacBook and I'm using uh, a r upgraded PowerPoint. And um, some people use Windows and different uh, versions of PowerPoint. So it all depends on what version you use as well. Um, my only suggestion is if you're using Windows to upgrade or update your codec. Uh, so that it can run uh, certain sound files. Um, I mainly use uh, MP3 and uh, WAV files in my um, in my games. So uh, maybe that will help a little bit. Let's see here. And also, um, I will be including um, the sound files for all my games from now on, so in case that um, does happen, you guys can uh, try to manually uh, put it in the game itself. Um, and I'll, I'll show you that too as well, if you guys want to see a tutorial on on how to put sounds in and how to um, add sounds, etc. I can also do a video on that for you as well.
I'm going to be including two versions of this these, uh, this game for you. Um, the macro version, which um, actually uses an older version of PowerPoint, um, slightly older version, and the regular um, version of this game, which doesn't use macro, um, it just links the um, select screen to the action slide itself. Um, so I'll be including both links in the description as soon as I'm done with the, uh, this game. So I hope my videos are helping you guys um, and I hope that um, this behind the scene uh, making of this PowerPoint game will also help you um, with your own games. Just a few more. I had a question um, that was asked in one of the comments section. How do I come up with some of these ideas in games? Um, usually, um, I get the ideas from my students. Um, I just ask them what they like. and. Um, Usually it's something very popular and trending um, and whatever that is, I'll just uh, use that idea and turn it into a game, to an English game where they can enjoy and try to use their English um, uh, with it. Uh, sometimes my ideas just come from um, uh, old things that I've uh, played or used before and I really enjoy that when I was younger and I uh, want to introduce that to my students as well but yeah most of the ideas are from my students although I do want to introduce new things to them but I'm just afraid that they might not know what those things are but you, you can always introduce it in a way that is educational and um, also, it uh, could be good for them to know um, more things and new things as well. So what kind of um, games or ideas have you guys made? I would like to hear from you guys. You can leave that in the comment section below and I'll definitely take a look at that. And if you, have, uh, if you guys have any uh, ideas or uh, games, etc., um, please let me know as well. I, I would definitely love to uh, check those out. I have quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of projects that I'm working on. Um, just that I don't have a lot of time to uh, to do these or to complete these. But actually, I've have I have a, quite a quite a bit that um, that I've been uh, making over the last couple months, and I would like uh, to introduce those games to you guys. Once you've got that done, make sure you save your work so you don't lose any work, all that hard work. All right, I think we're almost there. And let's go back to the slide, zoom out. Um, so you notice there, there's a zombie here. 
Um, when you click on the X, the zombie comes out when they get the wrong answer. And um, you, you click on the zombie and it'll take you back to the, the main menu screen. So let's just make sure that slide three goes back to slide three. I believe there's two zombies there. So I just want to make sure. Yeah, there's two zombies there. Just double check here. Yeah. Goes back to that. Let's check the bottom one here. That seems fine. Like I said, this is the most tedious part of making the game. Is really double checking your work. Alright, let's try the bottom one again. Mm -hmm. I'll just save that again, just in case. I forgot to save the first time. I don't know if you're like me. I'm just very... Um, I pay a lot of attention to details, and sometimes that's a bad thing. I just want everything to be perfect. And that sometimes gets me into trouble. Okay. Scene three is okay, so we're down to seven. Let's see. Wrong. Okay. Seven. Seems okay. Also, uh, like I mentioned, this uses a lot of animations, so I have to double check the animation as well. Uh, I'll show you an example. So you click on the A here, and if you get the wrong answer, the zombie comes out, and it has a little animation there. So I have to it's quite simple to do the animation. This is the easy part. You just highlight everything here. Just highlight everything. And then... Let me just double check the animation real quickly. What animation I used. Falling animation. Just highlight everything. Go to exit animation. And I believe flip. Okay. The flip animation. So we'll highlight everything again like this. We go to exit and we're going to choose flip animation. Okay. And now we have to uh, create a trigger for it. Uh, oops, why did I have got should do that? Now we have to trigger everything. So you notice here it says A, and if you click on trigger, um, to start the animation, um, you want to set it to trigger A. So the same thing, we'll do that for B, wherever B is. I like to keep my uh, uh, my games in order. Um, I mean, I can always go and click up here Z, F, E, but I want to keep everything in order. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you why. So B here, trigger. Look for B. 
be there. See now it's like A, B. If I start with Z or X, um, it'll just end up being under here. And it's very difficult to move this. Unless you guys know an easier way to do this, um, let, please let me know in the uh, comment section. So we'll go next, we'll go to C. And I'll just choose C, A, B. Not sure why I have two Bs there. I saw two Bs. Yeah, I saw another B here. Not sure why. So let me just check what that is. What's that all about? Hmm. Maybe we have two Bs in here. Oh, seems okay. I hope that you guys are finding my uh, videos helpful and entertaining at the same time. <laughs> If you do, please don't forget to leave a like. Let me know that I'm uh, doing it correctly. Let me just test it out here. Mm, seems right. Not sure why this is here, like that. Why there a double B, but I don't think we need another B here. We don't need that. Might not need double C too here. Not sure why there is. Let me try to see again. Yeah. It's probably just a mistake. A, B, C. I'll have to stop the video for now. Um, so watch part two of this um, to see how I completed this game. Again, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't, please subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and hit that like button so that you can be updated with the newest materials that I will be putting up on this channel. Again, thank you. And I'll see you um, in part two of this video.